Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Android on the Creator CI20 platform. So here's the box it arrives in. First thing we need to do is choose the right plug. In this case it's I'm in United Kingdom, so I'm going to take this one. Take out the plug and twist it and lock into place. Now it's ready to be plugged in. I want to actually see what comes on this board by default before we put Android on. So we've plugged in the HDMI cable and now we're going to plug in the power. We see the red LED comes on and it goes away for a bit and comes back on. Now we turn on the monitor And we'll need to wait about 30 seconds or so, I guess, for it to boot up. You can see uh, a version of Linux booting up here. Now, while that's booting up, let's uh, get the keyboard installed. So, what I've done is I've bought uh, a Logitech keyboard with a built-in mouse pad. Um, it's, it's wireless, which is very convenient if you're going to use it on your uh, couch. And the other advantage is it only has one USB slot, so we only take up one of the two USB slots with a mouse and keyboard. But of course you can use a normal USB keyboard and mouse in here if you like. So I'm going to just plug this in. Get it right around. Like so. So now Debian has loaded and I'm just going to have a quick look at the file system. It looks looks like it's all working so I think we should get on with installing Android So to get Android on the CI20 we need to flash a new image onto it now you can get that image from this web address this will take you to this web page here where you can download the image it's about a gigabyte so you'll take a while to download and you'll need a fairly good internet connection so to get the Android image, once we've downloaded it onto the CI20, we need an SD card. And you may need one of these. Uh, this is a little SD, well it's a, it's a memory card reader, USB one you can plug into your laptop. So I'm going to plug the SD card in here, like so, and plug it into my laptop. He's asking me if I want to format the SD card. Now I don't actually need to do that in this case because we're going to put on our own image directly onto it and make it bootable. So what we need for putting the image on is a program called Win32 Disk Imager. This is the address for the Win32 Disk Imager software. It's free and open source. Um, any links to software I use can be found below this video. So now we're going to save the image to the SD card. Um, a point to note is I had to use an external SD card reader here because even though my laptop has it built in, this particular piece of software often won't detect internal SD card readers. So let's find the image. You can see it's just over a gigabyte and we will select that. That's the Android image, Android 4.4, that's KitKat. So I'm going to write this image. It will warn me about corrupting the device, but I don't mind. There's a blank um, SD card. So we need to just sit back and wait a few minutes for that to write. So now the write is complete. Click OK and exit the application. Now I'm going to eject OK. Now we've got the Android KitKat image on our SD card we want to get that on the CI20 board we want to flash it into its memory so we'll need to change the boot mode of the card to do that now we do that by just moving this little jumper across from pins 1 and 2 to pins 2 and 3. Now, next time we power up the board it will then flash the image 
onto the board. Now I'm going to put the SD card with the Android KitKat image into the CI20 board and we're going to power it up. You can see the red LED flashes. Now what we're hoping for is the LED to turn blue. Now there you go, so it's turning blue. And that means it's actually writing to the flash on the board. Now that will stay blue for between 5 and 10 minutes while it writes to the NAND flash. So now you can see the LED has turned from blue to red. That means um, the process must have worked. It took about 6 minutes. Um, it probably depends on how fast your flash card is. Now in order to get the card to boot up into Android we will need to pull out the power and move the jumper, the boot selection jumper back up to pins 1 and 2. Reinsert the power, cross our fingers. You can see the light has flashed red. It may look yellow on your screen but it's actually red, believe me. And we need to wait a few minutes while that boots up. Now um, the monitor will show black for about well, one or two minutes which is a bit disconcerting but don't worry hopefully you'll see the Android logo which proves something's actually working. So now you can see Android KitKat has successfully booted up and we're in the, the welcome screen. So I'm going to click on that. So let's see what applications we have installed by default. Now we can see we have a few basic applications, notably no File Explorer and no Google Play. So in order to get apps on here we're going to need to use a File Explorer and get APKs onto here. Now I'll show you how to do that in the next video.